For many years, I've walked one path. As an inventor and innovator of epic foods, I've changed the game of cooking and eating. Now it's time for me to forge a new path and maybe change the world that we live in. I've created a new show that lets me use my powers of innovative thinking to help people in need. Makes you happy. The concept is simple. I talk to people. I figure out what their problems are. Then I invent groundbreaking products to solve them and generate as much profit as possible. Can a show change the world? We're about to find out. Welcome to Inventorprise. Inventorprise is inspiration. What we're doing here is not just inventing. My mission isn't just to push the boundaries of what we think we can do or can't do. My mission is to inspire people, motivate those around me, and while doing so, help a friend and a colleague. It's a little before 6.30 a.m. I'm trying to call Jazz Meat, AKA Just Rain. This is one of my best buds from the internet. And the reason why I wanna have this video call with him is because I wanna pull some information. I don't want to just go and make the guy something random that he's going to be like, why would you make this for me? I want to figure out something that he needs because I want to be certain that it's the right thing. Watch me, hold me, love me. He needs love. I know he sleeps with his computer. What's up? Hey, I know it's early. Where are you at these days? What's going on these days? Man, you know me. I'm just out here just doing a lot. Uh, doing uh, all sorts of fun and innovative things. I wrote work, 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 work. Yep. That's me. Who are you hanging out with these days? Uh, man, a lot, lot of people in my squad. People come and hang out with a lot of my buddies. Yeah, lots of buddies. A lot of peeps. People in the squad. Yeah, people in your squad. Jasmine is lying to me. I don't care about the words coming out of his mouth. I'm looking into his eyes and I see sadness. I have another question. Yeah. What makes you happy? Uh, when you're... What makes me happy is... What makes me happy? You know, when... when... Let's see, uh, cuddles, etc. Cuddles. Cuddles are comforting. Yeah. Just, just not giving a care about anything else for the moment and just being in the moment. I just want to be enveloped by another human. If I wasn't on a video call, I'd hold you right now and say everything's going to be okay. Sounds like you're not scheduling some chilling time. Yeah. Before the conversation even ended, I was feeling one thing and one thing only. Couch? You know what, Jazz, I know what needs to be done. So I know we're gonna be building Jazz Meat a couch, but the couch has already been invented. How do you reinvent an invention? You ask lots of people for their best ideas and then you steal those ideas, call it research. Leather couch in the hot sun is really it's a bad idea. Young man, what's it gonna take to get you to come sit on this couch over here with me on the back of this truck? Hey man. Hey, how are you? I'm doing alright. How are you doing? Fine, thank you for asking. You like sitting on couches? Yes. Let's say you're a lonely man. Okay. Let's say you, you can make the perfect couch and you could do anything you wanted to this couch. Anything to my couch? Yeah. What would you do? Man, that's a good one. Uh that word, say it. You thought it, but you didn't say it. Say it, be comfortable. Uh, that word, say it again. Which word? The word that you're not saying that you want to say. Maybe like some video game controllers or something. Music, it had like some sort of like speakers or. Headphones. Head yeah, ooh, yeah. Maybe also a microwave. Maybe like a side table. One that like comes out like this. Like on an airplane. Yeah, yeah. If you were down, what would make you happier to have on a couch? 
fill it with food. Some food, food accessibility, fridge, freezer. This sort of strong light box cheer you up in the winter. Does that work? Mood lighting? Yeah. That absolutely works. I want you to suggest things that might be considered stupid. It's so <laughs> stupid, just say it, it might be genius. Maybe like a drum kit. Why don't we put a vacuum machine under the couch and use to vacuum the, the living room? What else do you need from a couch? Imagine the couch would just embrace you when you get there, give you a nice big old hug. Wow. Research phase one is complete. I've got all the ideas I need to get started. It's time to get into the workshop with my crew. Do I have a plan? Do I know exactly what I'm doing? Absolutely not. All I know, perfect time to start inventing. We got the call from Harley. He said that he needed our skills for a project that he was throwing together and that he couldn't say much about it. Usually if he's in the driver's seat, uh, we just hang on and yeah, uh, enjoy the ride. ride. tell you something about these two guys. Are they underachievers? Yeah. Are they smart? Barely. Are they skilled? Not even close enough for what we need. But I'm going to use them and not even pay them properly. This is the Inventorplex, the lab, the shop. This is where our ideas and our hard work will make love and give birth to awesome things, like a couch. Everything you see is yours, except for that freezer over there. This doesn't belong to you. This is filled with bacon. It's for epic meal time. Harley knows, you know, we'll, we'll do pretty much whatever it takes to help him out. If he told me to jump off a bridge, I would do so gladly. I would shoot myself in the face and swan dive backwards into a lake. I'll throw a grenade into the water after him, just to make sure he's done. This is not a how-to show. It's not a DIY show. You get to see the lab. You get to see my crew, you get to see what we're gonna build. You don't get to see how we build it, because that's just stupid inventing. More than anything in the world, jazz needs to be held. For this invention to truly make him happy, I've gotta take it to the next level. I need to invent the world's first hugging couch. Hugging, cuddling, embracing. I googled all of these words with professional and expert added into it, and the same man kept popping up, either because he's the best or because he's the only person that offers this service. Either way, you won't see him right now. Hasnain Mursa is a professional cuddler. Hi. Hi, I'm Harley, how are you? Hi, I'm Hasnain, come on in. Thank you. Through his website, cuddleme.ca, lonely people like Jasmine can pay for Hasnain to cuddle them by the hour. I want his expertise to help give my hugging couch the magic touch. So what do you do? Well, as a professional, I'm a respiratory therapist in the intensive care unit. One thing that struck me was the amount of loneliness that there is in, in the hospital. So this is uh, Cuddle Me and I created this on the side so that I can help people out who are feeling uh, you know, sad, alone, and uh, people who need affection. As a cuddling, hugging expert, yes. what would you think of an invention that hugs you? That's a very interesting project. Uh, would it work if it wasn't a human cuddling? 
this is a mechanical cuddle versus a human cuddle. It's completely different. It'll be a very interesting experience, but uh, it's not going to be as warm and as soft and as authentic as another human being. Okay, well, how about you just lie to me? It's obvious Hasnain doesn't want my hugging couch to work. I get it. It would put his side business out of business. But while I'm here, I want to find out for myself what makes Hasnain's hugs so magical. So how much does a cuddle session cost? $90 for 60 minutes. Okay. So just put your head down right here. Yeah. Don't rush me. All you got to do is concentrate on your breathing. I can only concentrate on how many faces have been on this pillow, maybe. It's all about being comfortable and just being yourself at all times. Out of my entire life, this is somehow the craziest thing I've ever done. Really? Yeah, I can't describe it. <laughs> do you have other different Wait. cuddling? What you could do is you could hug the pillow. When you cuddle, people cuddle you back? Yeah, for sure. It's a give and go. Cuddling is sexualized a little too much. Yeah, it's true. That's it. it is, it's like, just... if it wasn't so weird yeah. to people yeah. and the people watching at home, I'd be like, let's take our shirt off. Yeah, well, no, no, because no. we like... No, that's, sir, that's crazy. Yeah. You want to try another position? Do I? Yeah. Just relax your legs. Ease your breathing. Hey, as? Yeah. The universe is so big, eh? It's so big. As? Yeah. Do people ever try and have sex with you when you're doing this? No, no. When we start the session, there's a legal contract prior to service starting. Hey, Has? Yeah, what's up, man? I never signed this contract. We're making a couch for Jasmeet, who has no idea what's going on. We've got a YouTuber in need, so we're gonna build something that's definitely gonna really bring him out of the funk. Everything we're doing here is about the triple P. We're gonna patent it, we're gonna produce it, and we're gonna profit. I can't guarantee the last two Ps, but everything I do come up with, I will patent. So now I know I'm going to be inventing the very first hugging couch. The question is how? First thing that comes to mind, space grade robotic technology. Now I don't want to be the guy that starts the robot apocalypse, so I'm going to see a robotics expert right now because the 15th rule of robotics is safety first. Hey, Harley. Nice to meet you. Anchi Shu studies cognitive human robot interaction. His expertise fits in perfectly with what I'm trying to invent. Our meeting starts off great. Anchi seems to understand exactly what I'm looking for. I want the couch to do what you're doing. All right. Just so that I understand correctly, we already have a couch that has this hugging mechanism, right? No, we, uh, we have a couch. We have a couch. I want you to All make right. this couch detect people's feelings and then hug them. Okay. Without crushing them. Without crushing them. Here's what I need. Just give me a round number on how long it'll take, how much it'll cost. I want top of the line, high grade materials, like space. You know, you can send this into space. What's this couch gonna cost? IP, hardware, labor, all inclusive. At least seventy-five to one hundred thousand dollars for the whole thing, and probably six months. Anchi and his robotic expertise are now officially off this project. It's now up to me to develop the hugging technology for the world's first hugging couch. This is exactly what trailblazing feels like. Yes! 
it's perfect. I'm going to call Jazz me. I'm comfortable having him be comfortable on this couch. I'm on the way to see Harley. Apparently he invented something for me. I'm extremely nervous. Extremely, extremely nervous. I just hope it's not like a big human-sized hamster wheel and just puts me in there to generate energy for his house or something. Jazz, my man. Hey. How's the flight? I mean, do you really care? No, not really. Yeah. Welcome to the Inventorplex. This is amazing. Head on in. So wait, why would you put up a tent if it was going to be behind the door? Stay focused. Okay. In a few moments from this moment, we'll be in the future. Well, technically that's true because, um, maybe it's a few seconds in the future. Here it is, the world's first computer-operated, user-controlled hugging couch, the Couch Couch. Um. Equipped with refrigeration capabilities, LED mood lighting, exclusive microwave, video game entertainment console, headphones for complete auditory escape, air conditioning, a tray table like flying business class. Jasmine is sad and lonely and desperately needs to be held. He's not expecting a couch, He's also not expecting a hug, but he'll be getting both. I didn't call it the hugging couch because it only offers up lounge seating. Okay. 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 Speechless. Wow. Listen, it's not the first mind I've blown. Have a seat. I want you to flip this switch right here. I'm not going to... No, nothing. Get ejected. But... No. AC. That's kind of cool, but right? Now you're getting a nice little breeze yeah, on I'm your cough. A, I'm getting a nice breeze just on my one right thigh. So maybe you're wondering if I'm underwhelmed by Jasmeet's reaction. Let me explain something to you. Jasmeet is not a 16-year-old girl getting a Porsche. He's not going to be jumping up and down and screaming. What you are looking at right now is a full-grown man with his mind blown. Fall you to the back? No, no, no. Bro, relax. Okay. You actually get time to relax now. All right. For your gaming experience. Mm -hmm. Headphones? Okay. This is a problem I never really considered. Yeah, in good my thing life. you made a uh, turban friendly headphones, man. Don't even worry about the turban. Alright, okay. So turban's off for this couch. You got it. You wanna say what, what is this? Oxygenated. We have an oxygen tank hooked up in the back. Look at that. It's just I just feel suffocated. <clears throat> okay. Check this out. You stay hydrated. This nipple is difficult. Yeah, I'll give you a second with that. No one's put their lips on it yet. I promise. Suck on it. Drink. The first one's the hardest one. Ugh. That w requires way too much effort for very little return. All right. This is the part that when I got off the phone with you, yeah. when we were done our video call, right. I gathered that, you know, maybe you don't have people that will just hold you and tell you everything's going to be okay. Why? Why would you assume that? You didn't actually say that? Is that the vibe I give off? Or? Yeah. Got it. So what I want you to do now is not just embrace the future, but have the future embrace you. Put both your hands behind you. Right here like this. That's the weirdest shit ever. Right there. Press these buttons. Why would you make this so complicated? Press this. Keep going. Now, pull the arms back. Couch is holding you. Did you chop off the sex doll's arm, or that's exactly what you did, isn't it? Oh God! I mean, I understand he's like motivated and wants to make an impact on people's lives and has a good heart, I guess. But I really don't understand how he got from that initial conversation to that cluster of a couch. Kitos? Oh. Should we just wait? Did I just get a shitload of radiation just now? Is this even properly hooked up? You walk around with your cell phone in your pocket all the time. Here, have a taquito. It's like, it's still cold. Mm. 
Remember, this is a prototype. Is it perfect? No, because perfection is not one of the three Ps. Is it better than any couch Jasmine has ever sat on in his entire life? Yes, by far. Oh, forgot. Also, in there, is that a foot rest for the no. fridge? No, robo vacuum cleaner. Artificial intelligence. No way, dude. Let's test it out. <laughs> One thing I really did like, though, was that little vacuum cleaner. That's like a thing I could actually use, you know? My little guy. I'll probably just leave the couch and just take the vacuum. The couch cooks, the couch cleans, the couch caresses. You don't even have a person in your life that does that for you. No. Thanks, Harley. You're welcome. Wow, I flew all the way out from Toronto for a vacuum. Yo, Jazz, these are the guys I was telling you about. They built this couch. It's Rob, Joey. Cheers. Invention one, knocked it out of the park, blew someone's mind. Once Jasmine saw the couch, I didn't care about anything. I nailed it. Now, it's about the next person I'm gonna help. Inventorprize isn't about the final product or how we got to the final product. Inventorprize is about inspiring people. Everyone has ideas. What I'm trying to do is inspire and motivate you. You can invent too. I'm not gonna show you how to invent. I'm here to tell you, hey, you should invent. When was the last time someone told you to invent?